The symbol for torque is a tau, it's a lowercase tau, and that's equal to Rf sine theta. Where R is called the lever arm. F is the force and theta is the angle between the lever arm and the force. People who did not have me last year, did you guys learn torque or no? Angle. No. Okay. We did <laughs> torque. Uh, it's not a part of the curriculum. But we went through torque after the seniors left. Um, sorry. There we go. So we have our axis of rotation, for example, would be right here. If this is, for example, the door. We would be looking at the door from the top view. This would be the hinge of the door. This would be the force. This right here would be called the lever arm. Now, in your text, they also refer to something uh, called the effective moment arm, which they call D, or this right here. This is theta, and you can see that sine of theta equals opposite over hypotenuse, or D over R. So D is equal to R sine theta. Uh, so the effective moment arm would be D, which is just R sine theta. Uh, it's just a slightly different term actually for the exact same thing that we're talking about here, because they have torque equals F times D. So you might see that sometimes. Now, we're going to spend a whole bunch of time talking about torque when we get to chapter 12, but we're not there yet. We have a little bit that we're going to learn about torque in chapter 10, and that really has more to do with Newton's, uh, the rotational version of Newton's, Newton's, um, oh, thank you. I see the pass. Thank you. I will take the pass. <laughs> Thanks. I forgot about this. Okay. Uh, so, Newton's second law from last year, not from this, not the new one. But the old one, John. Um, so the force equals the mass on acceleration and that is on mass uh, acceleration and force. Good. So close. That, that <laughs> is Newton's second law. What was Newton's second law from this chapter, set of chapters, Nick? So rather than mass times acceleration, we had the derivative of momentum as a function of time with momentum as a factor. We'll get to uh, Newton's third law, or second law, having to do with that. But what we're going to do here is, this is Newton's second law, but it's a rotational form, which is that the net torque equals something times alpha. Who wants to guess what the something is? Jenkins? Is it a moment of inertia? No, moment of inertia. It is rotational mass. Notice how this follows the exact same form, it's just using the rotational forms. Torque is the rotational form, moment of inertia is the rotational form of mass, and alpha, angular acceleration, is clearly the rotational form of linear acceleration. So torque, if you recall, is the ability to cause an angular acceleration of an object. You should see right there. Now, when you sum the torques, you need to pick an axis of rotation. 